With Chappie out soon, let's take a look at eight things you probably didn't know about director Neil Blomkamp's latest sci-fi movie starring Hugh Jackman and Charlotte Copley. During filming, actor Charlotte Copley, who plays former police droid Chappie, wore a skin-tight grey suit with tracking markers on it. The visual effects team painted the robot over Copley's performance, using the actor's movements to bring Chappie to life. Over his grey suit, Copley wore two other pieces of costume to help his performance. First, he wore a chest plate, which kept his back and chest proportions the same as Chappie's and helped him know what spaces Chappie could fit in and how he should sit or stand in certain positions. And when, for example, an actor grabbed Chappie's shoulder, the chest plate made sure the actor's hands were in the right place when Copley was later digitally replaced by Chappie. Secondly, over his grey lycra suit, Copley wore a pair of shorts and a belt, which he loosened and dropped halfway down his backside to create the right kind of move to bring gangster Chappie to life. The movie Chappie is based on a short film about robot police that writer-director Neil Blomkamp made back in 2003. That short film was called Tetraval. The design of robot Chappie was influenced by director Neil Blomkamp's love of manga and anime. Specifically, he was inspired by Japanese manga artist Masamune Shiro and his rabbit-eared robot called Brerios, which features in the 1980s manga series Appleseed. Speaking of ears, Chappie's ears play a very important part in the movie. First of all, Chappie's orange ear allows us to easily recognise him and distinguish him from the other robots in the movie. And secondly, Chappie's ears also gave the movie's animators the ability to show us what Chappie was feeling by placing his ears in different positions to reveal different expressions. In addition to visual effects, Physical robots were also used during filming. Prop company Weta Workshop built 11 practical dummies of the movie's robotic police force and individualised them by swapping out different number plates and replacing panels with varying signs of ageing. As for the movie's star robot, there were three chappy skeletons in total and there were eight sets of panels which could be swapped out to show each stage of wear and tear that Chappie goes through during the film. Ninja and Yolandi Visser from the South African rap rave group De Antwerp star in Chappie as former musicians who've had to turn to crime to survive. Director Neil Blomkamp encouraged Ninja and Yolandi to bring a lot of their own personalities to their roles, but he also asked Yolandi to show a softer, more maternal side towards Chappie. So, Ninja suggested that Yolandi speak to Chappie in the same cute, high-pitched voice she uses when talking to her dog. Oh, and the duo's on-screen car is actually a souped-up version of Ninja's real-life car. Because Chappie features a lot of action, the stunt team asked the movie's art department to build mini sets to scale, which they then used to help plan complicated action sequences. For example, the movie's opening scene was a particular challenge as it involved several helicopters, gunfire, jumping through windows, vans getting flipped over and much more. Where possible, stunts were done for real rather than using visual effects. For example, there's a bike flip where a droid knocks the rider off a bike which then carries on spinning. To do this, the stunt team put cables on both the performer and the bike so that the stuntman came off the bike while it carried on spinning. Although the movie's set in the South African city of Johannesburg, a number of the costumes have a more American look. For instance, Yankee, who's part of the gangster trio with Ninja and Yolandi, dresses in a sort of LA gangster style. In contrast to this, gangster boss Hippo's look is very South African, very Johannesburg. Gabby de Gassini, who styled all of Ninja and Yolandi's music videos, also styled the rap duo for Chappie. And according to the movie's costume designer, the look of Dev Patel's character was influenced by the old-fashioned conservative styling of Kempton Park near Johannesburg, where many people work in the defence industry. Well, there you have it. Eight things you probably didn't know about Chappie. Now tell me what's your favourite robot movie. If you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe for more things you didn't know and weekly movie reviews and interviews. Thanks for watching. Yippee-ki-yay, movie lovers.